I'm Daniel. I am one of the writers of Well Dressed Lost. The other is my dear friend Elias Ochoa, who cannot be here today. And of course, we have some trigger warnings, I think. Oh, yes. This play includes alcoholism, sexual themes, <laughs> death, and gun violence. Be warned. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. Thank you. <laughs> Then we can get 
Church One, and you can critique everyone else's culture. Santa had a message of the following morning, and sometime between midnight and 3 a.m., when the air in her room was filled entirely by vape smoke, she took a five minute break. In that half hour, she found the Instagram of Will's friend, but it was private. Still, the hours of arguing and signing and all those ever angry words caused her to throw all caution to the wind and perhaps follow. <laughs> I requested his sister around the same time, and I'm still waiting for her to accept. I did get him to be real though, and on this day we went off exactly at 12, and so we know exactly where he was. The print room counted. Well, you cannot, in good conscience, tell me, God, what a dull person get invited to a house party every single weekend and get dozens of junky M's to go to the pub every single fucking night. Oh, I do think I go to every single one within a five mile radius, unless you are physically impossible. What about just been invited to everyone? You haven't. Well, do you know what's wild shit I've seen at Jasmine's? <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Keep it that way, my friend. It's literally not meaningful. It's without a hint of hyperbole, everyone else is just gonna sit there and refuse to rise higher than the ability or it's pathetic. Look, if you don't like going to house parties or jazz nights or, or whatever, I go. Don't be that, okay? Is it not what is expected of me? For instance, you'd be quite offended if I didn't show up to your open mic on Friday. I mean, I would, but, but I wouldn't expect you to do the things that people are expected to do. You can't. Why? So ever not. Hold on, hold on. You just said that everything is mediocre. If you do as mediocrity tells you, are you not yourself? Mediocrity? Incredible. Now you're starting to sound like a German philosophy major. That was a counter shit. It was a question. Well, I'm better than both. Hmm? Look, to stoop to nonconformity is worse than mediocrity. Exactly that. Just because I'm attractive does not mean I have to stop dressing well. And yet you are. Any last word? I want you to listen to us. Did you know your girlfriend's flatmate tried to request you an answer last night? No. <laughs> Did she? Did you accept? Oh, I even followed her back. Mm. Mm. She posts these cute screenshots from Tumblr with postmodern takes on feminist literature. It's really quite charming. <laughs> oh, and she is fit. Why <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually think I can talk to her. I learned there was an English major girls. They used to those tongue ends. Just, they just kind of talk at you. Look, if I were you, if I were a poet, I would go for a taxi. You know what I mean? No, I don't know for Oh, well, you know your Ella, she's cute and all, but she looks like the stupid, unwanted full moon. No, but how do you get around? Beyond me. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Van Dyke, that's exactly it. Have you seen Van Dyke's Madonna? She, your Ella, she's got that exact same vibe, the same air about her. I have zero clue. Your Ella, she's got none of that fire in her eyes, okay? She's got none of that, none of that life, none of that ambition. Maybe you're looking for it. How the fuck do you even come up with these things? Why go? There's such fucking lines to get on my nerves. No, 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 I adore you, I treasure you well, I love you. This life that we lead would be nothing without you. But before we pass, tell me about this happening. I don't think you actually care. You know, I'm actually stalking my Insta right now, trying to figure out how to best run into me and sweep me off my bed. Shut up! Ugh, I didn't get any words. Again, beyond me, I'm a party trick, okay? I'm an aesthetic character. I misquote Virgil, and I walk the girls home. I'm the second most attractive person in the town, okay? And you know what? Without me, there are no socials, there are no parties, there are no Society, there is no uni. Okay. Baby, how do you bear the burden? <laughs> I know. What will they do without me after I graduate this year? And what will you do about that? For your open mic on Friday, promise me you'll have something exceptional. Oh, I'm actually gonna go. <laughs> Not only that, I'm gonna tell everyone right now about this. Yeah. How is there not a single attractive or interesting person at a poetry open mic? I got nothing out of this again! And Tati? Yeah, what about her? Didn't you walk her home? Yeah. So? So? Didn't she clean in for a kiss? And you rejected it? 
She invited you in. And you want her? So what? Did I do something wrong? You're wrong! wrong. I am. She asked you to text her when you got back. It's been two hours. I know. You like her? Of course. Then why don't you... I don't... Okay, I'm not well, okay? I don't have to be told how to do any of this. I know what I'm doing. The moment Tati laid eyes on Jean, she was in his well-dressed, tyrannical grasp. But they didn't share a kiss, and turning the key to the lock on her door, Tati regretted it bitterly. Between the dot of a flat and the dot of a room, she put together and planned out a seemingly endless playlist. <laughs> it was the fastest she'd ever made a playlist, and the fastest she had ever drank an entire bottle of wine. I was going to drink that. And she danced to that playlist, if you can call this dancing. She danced and she waited, waited for the tense. And while she waited, she drank. And she danced, and she fished with him. And then she pictured them dancing together. And for the first time since, well, God, not even her diaries can remember. Her entire soul was full. Her heart, her every joint of blame. She danced with her eyes closed so she could picture him. The gene she had made. The gene that she was in love with. Sure, the love. The gene that would text her any
Why the Institute? It took you long enough. Oh, we never go to the Institute. I was in the Institute with Grogi, okay? And it's the only single union bar that serves them. Eat them up. You're drinking Guinness. Yeah, one never drinks the Grogi's alone. You're alone? Yeah, because you need to do this. <laughs> what was it you wanted to show me anyway? <sighs> Holy shit. That's long. <laughs> I know. Thanks, but wow. You didn't reply. Yeah. To that. How exactly? How oh, I the way the money? Hold on, I have to see her since. Yeah. Just so that we're clear, this has never happened to you with Ella. <laughs> no, that's not me either. I don't know. I thought it was you at first. I almost opened it. Oh. You didn't look like Ella. Yeah. Trade my back, mate. Um, okay, okay, so what did you do? Well, I ghosted her for a few days, trying to get my thoughts in order. I was in a meditative state of sorts. Um, my first impulse was to, you know, lead her on, invite her over for a couple of drinks, see how she is in bed, in the basis. But uh, here's the thing. She was upfront with me. She was honest. I like that. I respect that. Say what you will about that, but at least it's not tepid student bushes. So I knew I had to reply just the same. And I was headed to Huntley for a pint, and I saw her in my usual seat as I had predicted. Mm -hmm. And she rushed down from the basement to Molly's. It was dragon night. It was crowded, and the music was loud, and it was sweaty. But I caught up with her. You she did not no. kiss her. <laughs> it was a good kiss. Maybe the best I've ever had. <laughs> but it tasted of, how do I put this, expectations. This is not pure the food. I am sorry. This is not some pretentious French film where you talk about expectations. And I love that you compare my life to it. Look, I told her that as soon as I commit, I lose any low interest, and that I was not in the state for a relationship. I, I drank a light some ends, and I slept with words because I desired to a lot. That's the end of the I also told her that she should not be sending texts like that again, because it's kind of weird. And also, she should be thankful that I understood her and her girly aspirations because others might not, <laughs> and might use their delusions against her. Well, so, so she shared that thing because you're an asshole. Oh, my God, you are gaslighting. Oh, what do you mean? I what do you even know on about? No, fine, 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 fine. Fucking care. Yeah, 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 incredible. What did she do fucking care? Look, first of all, I don't know how to gaslight. Second of all, I didn't hear what she said. The music was too loud. And third of all, she started crying or something strange, uh, and she ran off, I think. Why did you say anything like that, Gene? What else was I supposed to say? Not no chance to let you down to fuck! I mean, I was being honest. That doesn't make it right. Jesus Christ, holy piss! Oh! I'm with a poor girl. You know, you could at least hold her like a polite now. You should not fucking kiss her. She wanted it. She wanted love. Mm. And because of me, you know, she thought she could get that from you. Instead! Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, what would you have done? I don't know, her to her kindly. Mm -hmm. You know, invite her to her coffee and have a polite conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. You know? Yeah. You're actually unbelievable. You're actually more your own, you know, saying. Look, other people would have used her, okay? They would have hurt her, and you didn't. You know, even if you think what she said was wild and ridiculous, you don't then go and do something even more fucking absurd. Listen, okay? It's not that I don't like her, it's just I know myself enough. As old Plato said, know thyself, okay? Mm -hmm. Stop it, listen. Touche. Look, I know myself enough to know what's right for me, okay? Worst case scenario, she's gonna text me in a couple of days and she's gonna invite me out, or she's gonna use, you know, immediately so we cross paths again soon. No way. <laughs> no way. What do you mean, no way? Already! I've never had someone like me this much. It's actually coming in. No. Uh, <laughs> no, it's her YouTube <laughs> birthday. Oh, she, she told Ella to tell me to invite you, but then, you know, I thought, I thought. Something. You just don't fucking know. Not that. When is it? Oh, 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 oh. When is it? Tell me. You should go. You're not going. 
Tomorrow night! Tomorrow night! Oh, Eureka! I've never looked forward to something in so long! Nothing, nothing, nothing. Is this what we're like? What we do? Ties at unis. Is this what we do? If you survive till third year, my dear innocent friends, you'll be more bored than I am, I promise you. It's so bored and then try something different. Change! I don't fucking know! Try, try love! <laughs> Love? You think that text was love? What was it? A fucking waterboard. I don't know. Just well dressed lust, my dear friend. Okay? Look, if you're lonely enough, long enough, watch. You'll see. A couple of drinks in, and the difference between you and me and Tatiana Mella stops mattering, and suddenly it's everyone's birthday. That's bullshit. No. Just lost. 
miserable will stands alone on the empty street and sends a fatal text with trembling fingers. Keane received the text almost immediately. It was a simple, cold, honorable text, one in the old days was known as a cartel, or a challenge to a duel. He answered the text immediately. It was the fastest he'd ever answered the text. Have you seen more? Uh, I, I have to go. Uh, happy birthday! Thank you. 
Whoever fired first is a standstill and waits, follows the herd and answers the shot. There is a habit of trade doors are slow and tense, as noble moments of catharsis upon which entire narratives hang. Sadly, this is a lie. And the dance! Yeah. 
last night. It was a postmodern reimagining of a full LGBTQ podcast. Exhibit. <laughs> what I did was pretty perfect, right? Do you want me to be honest? Gene Honest. A straight shooter. Sure, you have to. Actually, never mind. You're too much of a narcissist as it is. Who's the vintage for? You have a party! Oh, gee, thanks. You too. Just about ready to settle down. How do you manage that? Just shot my shot, you get it. Who are they? Anyone I know? Come join us. And 
still. Tootsie, I was, I was blind. Okay, I was stupid. I was so fucking dumb. God, the best you thing that's ever happened to me. Look at yourself. Ugh. You know what? If you want to lecture me again, I will say yeah. And you can tell me, um, you know, you can tell me about inexperienced girls who don't understand love, or you can tell me about what did you call it? Well dressed lust, or. You know, you could alternatively just tell me you're down to a fuck, but just explain to me what you're all the scene. Okay, I'm gonna be here. I adore you, okay? I do. Everything is in your hands. I'm in your hands! You're not. And you never will be. You know what? Do you want me to be honest with you, Eugene? Sure. 